Hey guys, I'm Rahul and today I'm here with an another exciting SketchUp tutorial and today we are going to learn how to create stairs. I will teach you guys both how to create a normal stair and also how to create a spiral stair. So let's get started. Okay, first now learn how to create a normal stair. That is pretty easy, you just need to select the rectangle tool from the toolbar, then draw a rectangle on the canvas like this, then extrude this face using push and pull tool, then create a rectangular block like this, then select all using the selection tool, then right click, then make component, then you can name the component as stair, then create. Then you got a component here. Then we need to copy this to create stairs. So use the move tool. Then, then use the control modifier key to copy this stair. So use the move tool then press control. Then click move. Then you will you can copy the stair and place right here. Then don't click away. Just type how much of copy you want. How much of multiple copies you want so this is called multiple arrays so you just need to I, I want 20 so as you can see down there on the length the value changed to 20 then you need to type x 20 x that means I want 20 copies of this component then hit enter and you can see the magic it created 20 copies and it is a normal stair so now let's create spiral stair. So for that move this component away. So now let's create the spiral staircase. So go to top view then create a circle or you can use polygon tool. In this case I'm going to use polygon tool and if your side is default is set to 6 you can just select polygon tool double click then type how much of side you want. I want 12. Then hit enter. Then you'll get a 12 sided polygon. Then draw the polygon. Then create a pie piece like this. Like this. Then extrude this face a little bit with this much thickness. This much thickness. Then select this. Then right click make component then you want to make sure that you check reply selection with component then you can type it spiral stair then create then you want to create multiple copies of it on this plane like this so I'm going to use the rotate tool then I'm going to copy this component so use the rotate tool Use the modifier key control, then click, then create a copy, then align this component like this, then don't click away, just type how much of copies you want. So I now created a 12 sided polygon, so I need 11 more, so 11x, then hit enter. Then you will complete that polygon with staircase block, then select all this. Then copy this, use the control key and use the control key and the move tool. Then copy this to here, then type okay 10 11 x hit enter. So now we got 11 multiple copies of that. Then we need to create spiral stay guys. So select this, select this, and select this, select this, this, this one, this one one this one this one this one and this one as you can see I selected this components in a spiral staircase way like this the first one second one third one fourth one like that then what you need to do is you can use the selection tool then press and hold shift on your keyboard then you will get a plus or minus icon right next to a selection tool then drag over your selection and see the magic 
you can of course you can differentiate the selection and the unselected deselected parts so just hit on delete and you will create a spiral stay guys so that's all guys that's a pretty simple tutorial keep in mind that the trick that we used on this tutorial is multiple array or copying multiple times how to do that is pretty easy you can use any rotate tool or move tool to create multiple copies so if you are using uh, if you want to create multiple copies using move tool what you need to do is first control key then copy component then type how much of copies you want 10 and followed by X then hit enter that's all guys you can create multiple copies like that so that's the tutorial I hope you guys like this video if you guys did then please do big thumbs up comment share that will help me a lot guys and subscribe for more more sketch tutorials and tech videos like this so goodbye guys subscribe bye